Well, good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning. Head to my first call of the day. We just got to put a um, big old fan blade on a big evaporator and a walk-in cooler down to Produce Place, big Produce Distribution Place. Motor was installed. They ordered it a while ago. Another guy put it in the other day, but he had the wrong blade was sent to him for some reason, so I had to go and get the right one. I got to go get this in and... Uh, Go from there, see what we get into. Nothing too bad, though. Should be pretty easy and pretty straightforward. But uh, it's a big old Trenton blower or crane up. I forget. I got to get up there. We got a scissor lift down there so we can get up to it and get everything in. Should be nice and easy, though. But just sitting here in the soup, as usual. The old Boston traffic. Welcome to my life. You sit in this every day. We're actually going like 30 miles an hour right now, which is pretty good. Pretty soon we'll be stopped. It takes at least an hour to go anywhere, heading in anywhere close to Boston. It's miserable. I swear every year it gets worse and worse, but what are you going to do? It is what it is. We all got to do it. We all got to go where the stuff needs to be fixed. So stay tuned, and I will uh, let you know what happens when we get there. Hope you guys are doing well and all having a good day. Stay on the grind. And I will talk to you soon. So here we are, still on our way to the job. It's the traffic I was talking about. Lovely. Every day. Every day you gotta sit in this shit. Drives everyone nuts, but I don't know. And it doesn't go away either. It's like a couple hours during the day where you got a free spot to get through this. But what are you gonna do? You can't really see Boston. It's off in the distance there over those trees. We're almost there. We're going to be working right by Boston, a little suburb. Lovely Chelsea, Mass. <clears throat> the armpit of Massachusetts. <laughs> but whatever. I'll let you guys know what's up when we get to the job. So here's what we're looking at, boys. Just got to get a blade on this because we had the wrong one. Old Trent. This thing's a monster. The new ones down there, these shrouds are a wicked pain in the ass to get on and off, too down there. Big cooler. Hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of produce in here. I'm gonna get the blade on. See what we're looking at. I gotta stop recording though because I need two hands to do this. I'm not putting a lift right now. I, got, I don't got much room. So I gotta lean over and get the racks in the way as always. So but we'll get it in. Should pop right on and off we go. Nice easy one. So here we are, blades on. Everything nice and pretty. I just gotta get this beast of a shroud back on. This thing weighs a ton. Be a little pain doing that. It's like I said, I gotta lean over a bit. A couple feet back from this blower. But there you go. Gonna be nice. Do that and that'll be it. Nice easy first job of the day. Like I said, I didn't have to do the motor. Another guy came and did it the other day. So. I ordered it, but I didn't have to put it in, so he did the hot pot. So there it is. New shroud back on. It's a kind of a bear to get on. These things weigh a ton. Put some new nuts and washes on it for good measure. That's it. Just start it up, and we'll be done. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick, too. These are the Dixel controllers that are controlling this unit. There's the manual thermostats there. The sensors going in to the box but this is an NRM system which is National Resource Management they're out of Canton Mass and they're all over the country in boxes a lot of you guys may have seen these I don't know it's just an energy management system see this one just went on to defrost this is the one I just put the unit in let's see our set point 35 we're at 35 fans are running snowflake is off refrigeration is off if refrigeration is running, there will be a light under that little snowflake there. We do a lot of work with these. They're on a lot of boxes that we do. So, just figured I'd give you guys a quick shot at that. This one's good too. Yeah, 33. 33. This one just stays up at 35. These middle units are old. These two are new, so it's more of a backup system. But yeah, just figured I'd show you that real quick. So I wanted to show you real quick, this is where I was working. 
Huge buildings, all produce distribution coming in, coming out from all over the country. Like the central hub for produce in New England here. At least especially in Boston. So, it's like the Wild West down here and there's no friggin' traffic law supply. Like, look at everyone. Just driving all over the place. It's unbelievable. Potholes everywhere. But, my home away from home. I'm here all the time. I take care of most of the, our accounts down here. We do probably at least half the places in here. And I'm the main guy that does them. So I figured I'd show you this real quick while we're at it. So I just want to finish up on the um, video here, guys. Very simple job. Uh, driving to my next one now. I got a no heat call. Out in an office building. We'll see what's going on there. But um, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like. I'm uh, going to be getting up a lot more footage for you guys. Give you a little tour of the road here. I just came through Boston. So, like I said, start like, comment, and subscribe. And I'd love to hear anything from you guys or if you got any questions. It's a new Bruins practice arena over here to the left. It's awesome. Go Bruins, baby. They're killing it this year. we got a good run coming in the playoffs coming up. They're pumped. And me and baby in there practicing right now. I don't even know, but there it is. Beautiful. But uh, thanks again, guys, for watching, and uh, we'll get back to you with another one. Thank you.